in this video I'm going to talk about more nitty-gritty of like the things I loved I didn't love the things that I would love to see in the future because I really think that this conference is going to grow and become more than it is of course the first one's always it has like such unique beautiful things but then it also has some things where you're like mm, this could be better I am going to talk about things that I would love to see in the future not because I didn't love this conference because I did but because I get excited about the potential of things when I really love them the conference was two days and the first day it was just a mixer a little sad that it was only the mixer because I would have loved to just experience more especially since I traveled all the way to Arizona from California I met like I counted on Instagram that we follow each other now. I counted 23 people, but I am a very outgoing person. Like if you wanna talk to me, I'm gonna wanna talk to you. If you're a nice person, I'm gonna wanna talk to you. I met all of these people basically the first day of the mixer, maybe like two or three I met on the second day, but mostly during the mixer, I would introduce myself, talk to them a little bit and be like, okay, I'm gonna go, you know, say hi to other people. Not because I wasn't interested in them, but just because I know if I start talking to one person, I can talk to them for hours and I don't know that everybody wants to talk to me for hours and also I just want to meet other people the day of the mixer I got to talk to Mel Mack um, she's a casting director and also an acting instructor and then everybody else I believe were actors as far as the the mixer itself a lot of the speakers made appearances in there of course Bella was in there and I got to say hi to her the mixer being on the first day at the beginning I was like oh I wish it was at the end after you got to meet everybody I was so wrong I I loved that the mixer was on the first day because I got to make friends and then the next day I just had so many people that throughout the day I was having conversations with taking them to the savage booth sitting next to in classes in a nutshell day two of the conference was like a buffet and you got to sample each person's style or classes most of the people there also offer courses or something like that so you were able to be like okay I do enjoy their work let me continue and take their course all of the speakers that I saw were also all on Instagram so it was really easy to follow them and continue to you know develop this relationship so I think going to a conference like this is really really great and creating that relationship with these people because you can comment on their stuff you can post and tag them you can audition for them but then it's an even other step of actually being able to meet them in person and at the beginning of the day the keynote speaker was Melanie Mack which she did an acting workshop basically live she got two actors to come up which i think that's a great opportunity it's almost like paying to go to a casting director workshop during the conference because there's a lot of people that are instructors and casting directors it's like a mini audition like you're paying to have them see you live and see that you take direction that's what melanie did she got the actors and she would give them feedback and she was able to see how they worked if you go volunteer I know it's so terrifying you might mess up but it's such a great opportunity to especially be live with them because you're maybe going to be able to audition for them in a self tape but to be live and make that connection live and then after they're done speaking you can be like oh that was really fun thanks so much for choosing me as far as the speakers I definitely grabbed a little bit of information from each person it was interesting to see the perspective of each person the tips that each they each gave but because I have been acting for a while a lot of this stuff I already knew. There were moments like that, even for me, of like, oh, I'm gonna use that. That's actually really cool. Or like, yes, I needed to hear this because I'm obsessing too much about blank. I mostly think it was worth it for me to pay because I made so many connections, so many friends. It's like I paid for 23 new friends. I love it, totally worth it. For other people, like I was sitting with friends and after one of the sessions, one of my friends turns to me and was like, wow, that was amazing like i really needed that right that was so good and i was like oh interesting because after that session i was like oh that's a really cool approach to this um but i wasn't like amazed you know and that's the thing that everybody is going to have a different experience with this these kinds of things at one point they did say raise your hand if you've been acting for less than a year and there were a lot of people there were a few actors there that i didn't recognize but then afterwards i did look them up on imdb pro and i saw that they had a bunch of credits which was really cool that they were able to come to this for the most part i think this conference at least for this year was geared towards like people who weren't like brand new just trying to see if they were getting into acting but for people who were maybe like 
haven't gotten like a national commercial maybe have gotten like a co-star role but not that many like you know like on the on the brink of really taking off and being able to make more money from acting and be in like consistent work i would recommend it to anybody who can afford it because even if you are a brand new actor it's going to be a lot like just make sure to take notes but it's going to show you so many different things about the industry like all of the different classes you're going to get a lot of information in one day super compact and you're gonna get to meet so many people and even actors that are a little bit more advanced and like have a lot of this information already i think it's really cool because like i said before you get to sample all of these different people's techniques and perspectives and then you can potentially find somebody new that you're like actually i'm gonna hire them to coach my next audition because i really liked their perspective i really liked the way they did um this you know this little workshop in their in their session during the break something you can do is go and visit the vendors there were a lot of local vendors which wasn't so great for me because i'm not in arizona i would have loved to see more vendors i don't know like hello where, where was everybody at like all of the actor apps there's just a lot of really fun opportunities for vendors to come and make it really interactive like for the savage booth i was taking photos they had a backdrop they had a ring light that was really fun. But where were all the apps? Like We Audition, Casting Networks, Casting Workbook, Actor Trade, Castability, Headshot Photographers. As actors, we really spend so much money. And as you progress in acting, you're gonna need more things like a publicist, like a stylist. That's one of the things I was actually looking forward to. I was like, oh, I wonder what new things I'm going to learn about as far as vendors. Cause I recently started using the app Castability. Please next year, let there be a plethora of vendors. Something that scared me at the conference is the fact that I make YouTube videos, the fact that I share a lot of me, a lot of my process, a lot of my mistakes and my just like, information. A lot of people, especially like casting directors um, or acting coaches in the conference were like, oh, you really shouldn't do this. Oh, you if you're if you're doing more than three takes, you're out of pocket, like you're crazy, which I agree, like I understand. And they did help me realize like I'm not putting enough time during my rehearsal and preparation for the audition. And that's why I'm doing so many takes. Recently, I think I did 59 takes for a commercial audition. And that is what really scared me that I feel like I'm exposing myself to them. If anybody's watching this, that's potentially an agent or a manager of mine or somebody who I'm auditioning for like a casting director like i'm a little scared that i'm showing this so that gives me extra pressure of like feeling like i need to be perfect which i know is not true i know if somebody really likes my acting and they trust me and they know i'm hard working they're gonna want to work with me but i post maybe 20 minutes of my life a week onto social media and if that week what i happen to post is like things that don't represent me that well like that can be really stressful but i'm gonna continue to just post whatever feels right to me like i am definitely not perfect i for sure have done way too many takes in the past and maybe i will again in the future on that note let's talk about my audition recap uh, every first vlog of the month i will tell you what i auditioned for and how i auditioned for um this last month so in september i got 12 auditions six were commercial four were like internal use or for their website and one was a like gif like a christmas gif and one of the commercial auditions was also a christmas commercial one of my auditions was a friend referral so a friend recommended me they heard about the job and they were like hey contact her Five of them were self-submissions mixed in LA and the Bay Area, and then the rest of them were for my agency, and those were all San Francisco because my agency in San Francisco, Marla Del Talent, MDT agency, they do just represent me in the San Francisco Bay Area. And how many of them did I book? None of them so far. <laughs> um, one of them I was on hold for, but uh, this month I didn't book anything. It's okay. And every week we also do an actor check-in. We're accountability buddies, if you didn't know. I practice memorization four times, scene study three times. I did two practice self-tapes and I did gratitude four times a week. I didn't skate because I've been hurting pretty bad. Watch this video next to see what day two of the actors conference was. And if you already watched it, I would super, super appreciate if you went and watched it and leave a comment because that was my first ever like officially sponsored video where I got cash money and not just free products for. 
so I would, I would really appreciate it.